Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Davina. And just as a reminder, because we are under construction here at the library, you might be hearing some strange noises, some power tools and different things like that. We're actually now recording in our new uh, children's programming room, but because there are, isn't any furniture or, the, or uh, supplies or things in the cupboards, the sound is kind of echoey, so just be aware that right now that's just a temporary thing for as we get ready to invite you and uh, welcome you back to the library sometime this summer. So we're looking forward to that. But as we get ready today, let's go ahead and we'll sing our hello song. Ready? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? Again. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? So how are you today? I know this this week's not as warm as last week was and today's weather's kind of crazy but tomorrow is something that so many of us here in America and across the world that we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And so we're going to be talking all about St. Patrick's Day today. And my first book that I have for us is called Celebrating St. Patrick's Day. And it is by M.J. York. And what color do we normally associate with St. Patrick's Day? What do you think, Keegan? That's right. It's green. So you make the G and you shake it. Green is the color that usually goes with St. Patrick's Day. So the sign for St. Patrick is if you take your finger like this and it's like pinching, so you're pretending to pinch, St. Patrick's Day. So let's go ahead and read about it. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It is St. Patrick's Day. We celebrate Irish culture. So St. Patrick's Day was first celebrated by people that are from Ireland, or and we have a lot of Irish Americans here, um, maybe way back in your uh, heritage, or maybe recently there's a lot of people that came from Ireland to America. This holiday is March 17th, which is tomorrow, right? And a lot of people wear what color? Green. So it is the, what? The 17th. So remember seven is like this. For 17, you make this, you turn your hand facing you, you make the seven and then you flick it out. 17th. It's the 17th day and we wear green. Green. The color green makes us think of Ireland. There are green hills. Look at all those hills. Look at all those stone fences. That's pretty cool, isn't it? They get a lot of rain in Ireland. That helps keep everything looking so green. What is that called? Well, that's a good guess. It's not a four-leaf clover, because if you look, it only has three leaves, and they kind of look like hearts. That's called a... A shamrock, right. A shamrock is green and it's a symbol of St. Patrick's Day. So it's something that represents St. Patrick's Day. Oh, a lot of people eat green food. And so food or eat. So they eat green food and green cookies. Look at those cookies. They have green icing on them. Yum, yum. Oh, yum. That looks delicious. Does anybody know what kind of meal that is? What do you think? That's really good. Thank you. Zane, that was excellent. Corned beef is Irish. A lot of Irish eat it and they eat cabbage too. So this is like corned beef and cabbage. It has cabbage and carrots and potatoes. And then there's corned beef. 
that just looks delicious. And I know one of my friends I saw had made a great big pot of corned beef and cabbage this weekend. Parades! Oh, look at all those people in the band playing their instruments. Many cities have parades and they have a lot of fun songs. So a lot of your larger cities might have a St. Patrick's Day parade. And then, yes, there's dancers that perform Irish dances and they wear bright dresses. So there's special kinds of dances that a lot of people do in Ireland and around this time of year for St. Patrick's Day, many people will do a special dance. And look at that. That water is what color? It's green. People in Chicago dye the river green. How do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Do you have any special ways that you celebrate? And the sign for celebrate is if you take your fingers and make them go like this and kind of go like this in the air, celebrate. So how do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Do you wear the color green? That's pretty cool. You can always email Miss Davina and tell her how you celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So boys and girls, if you want to let you have your special grown up, your mom and dad or your uh, grandparents or aunts and uncles or whoever helps you with your email, you can email Miss Davina. The link is always at the bottom in our description in our, on our YouTube channel if you want to find the recording of this video there. And my email is there. There's also some extra special activities and other books that you can read that go along with St. Patrick's Day. So we have the color. We have shamrocks up here, right? And we have how many? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five green shamrocks. And look, they have the letters. We have the letter G. The letter R, E, E, and N. Green, and this song goes to the tune of bingo, and there it goes, there is a color we can wit say that represents St. Patrick's Day. G-R-E-E-N, 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 and green is that color. So we're gonna sing that through, and by the time we're done, you'll know how to spell green. So remember, when we take one away, what happens? We clap and we don't say the letter that time, right? So when we get all the way to the end and all the letters are gone, we're only clapping instead of saying them. So let's go ahead and we'll get started, ready? There is a color we can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. Oops, let's do that again. There is a color we can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. G-R-E-E-N, 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 and green is that color. Did you get that? Let's try that one more time and then we'll go all the way through the song. Ready? There is a color we can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. G R E E N G R E E N G R E E N and green is that color. There is a color we can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. R E E N R E E N R E E N green is that color. What letter do we take off next? You tell me, Zoe. Right, we take off the R. Oh, there goes the R. So now we have only three letters you left. Ready? There is a color we can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. E-E-N. E-E-N. E-E-N and green is that color. And we are gonna take away one what? One E, very good. There we go again, get ready to clap. 
There is a color we can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. E-N. E-N. E-N and green is that color. We're going to take off the other E now. How many shamrocks do we have left with the letters on them? How many are up here, Nathan? You tell me. Right, there's one. Get ready. There is a color we can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. N. N. N and green is that color. All right, Keegan, take the N off. Thank you for helping. Ready? Here we go. There's no letters left, are there? We have zero shamrocks. So are we gonna say any of the letters? No, we're gonna clap all the letters. Get ready, here we go. And help me do the signs if you can. There is a color we can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. Let's do that one more time. We can sing that all the way through. Ready? There is a color we can say that represents St. Patrick's Day. And green is that color. That was so good, guys. Thank you for helping, Miss Davina. And do you remember what the sign for help is? Who can tell me? Yes. Right, help. Put your hand out like this and put your other hand in it with your thumb there and lift like you're helping your hand up. That's the sign for help. So thank you for helping Miss Davina sing our song. So my book that I have now is another one that's called St. Patrick's Day. And this one is by Mary C. Schultz. So let's see what our story has to say. People celebrate St. Patrick's Day on what day? March 17th. Very good. St. Patrick lived in Ireland hundreds of years ago. He was a preacher and he helped people in Ireland build churches and schools. So he was a real person. He told stories about shamrocks and today people decorate with shamrocks on St. Patrick's Day. So he had stories that he told people about the shamrock. People wear what color clothes? What color? Green, very good, on St. Patrick's Day. And they remember the green hills in Ireland. So there's a grandpa reading to his granddaughter telling her about Ireland. Oh, and remember they, we said some people do what? Some people have parties and celebrate with special dances. And they sing and they listen to Irish music. And what else do some people do? Right, very good. Some people watch parades on St. Patrick's Day. Others send cards. And some people make green cakes and cookies. So they make green cakes and cookies. Oh, and look at him, what's he making? Yeah, this student is making a St. Patrick's Day craft in school and he's learning all about Ireland. So there are lots of things that go along with St. Patrick's Day. What are some of the things you see in that picture? What do you think? Green, we have green water, those, those things right here. They're green shamrock. Oh, we lost the connection. Let's do that again. What's this guy called? He's a leprechaun. And is that a what? A pot of gold and some more shamrocks. And these are all symbols or things that represent St. Patrick's Day. People remember Ireland on St. Patrick's Day and sometimes they celebrate with friends and family. 
Remember, friend is like that. So your fingers hug friend. And then family is if you make your F fingers, the letter F on both hands, and it's like you're going around the ball. Family. So they celebrate with friends and family. So what do you do to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? And like I said, you can tell Miss Davina by sending her an email and letting her know. Um, we're gonna sing a song about leprechauns. And this is a song that you guys can help me with. And it's just like the tune of Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. But it's leprechaun, leprechaun, turn around. So ready, here we go. Leprechaun, leprechaun, turn around. Leprechaun, leprechaun, touch the ground. Leprechaun, leprechaun, stand on your toes. Leprechaun, leprechaun, touch your nose. You find your nose? Leprechaun, leprechaun, hands in the air. Leprechaun, leprechaun, hands on your hair. Leprechaun, leprechaun, arms out wide. Leprechaun, leprechaun, sit and hide. Leprechaun, leprechaun, give a clap. Leprechaun, leprechaun, hands in your lap. You guys did a great job with that. Let's try that again one more time. And Miss Davina isn't standing up with you just because you won't be able to see me in the camera. But when we're in person, we'll be able to do this together again. So ready? Let's try that one more time. Ready? Leprechaun, leprechaun, turn around. Leprechaun, leprechaun, touch the ground. Leprechaun, leprechaun, stand on your toes. Leprechaun, leprechaun, touch your nose. Leprechaun, leprechaun, hands in the air. Leprechaun, leprechaun, touch your hair. Leprechaun, leprechaun, arms out wide, stretch them really far. Leprechaun, leprechaun, sit and hide. Sit back down and hide. Ah, where'd you go? Leprechaun, leprechaun, give a clap. Everybody clap. Woo! Leprechaun, leprechaun, hands in your lap. You guys did such a wonderful job. That was so good. And if you would like, Miss Davina will attach the words to both the, so the green song for the Shamrocks and the Leprechaun Leprechaun game. So that it is part of the activity list. And I'm also going to attach a link for a video. And it's a video of a family, a dad and his twin girls who are gonna tell you a story in sign language about why they celebrate St. Patrick's Day and what St. Patrick's Day is all about. So if you wanna watch it and just kind of try to figure out what some of their signs are, that's fine. But you can also turn on the subtitles. So have mom and dad or a special grown-up turn the subtitles on so that you can actually see what they're saying when they're signing. But it's just interesting. You don't have to watch it, but you might find it interesting. It's their interpretation or their way of telling the story of St. Patrick's Day. And it's just something fun to watch. So um, we'll go ahead and we'll sing our goodbye song. So I need everybody to help me sing. And remember, friend, right? Ready? Here we go. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye to all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We clap our hands like this. Yay! You guys did such a great job. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next week. Goodbye.